Hello friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how you'd be able to extract the text or anything that is inside the PDF documents. This may be the data, this may be the letter, this may be anything. So PDF document is basically like the Word document, just like the Microsoft Word, Microsoft produces Word document. Uh, whereas Adobe is the company that owns the uh, PDF Acrobat, uh, Acrobat documents. These documents are called a PDF because it ends with the extension PDF. Um, usually PDF documents are for the read-only purpose. If you want to write those documents or modify them, you'd have to have the license in order to modify them. So you'd have to have PDF writer license. Uh, when you talk about the PDF, being imported into the applications if you encounter to any applications these days uh, you have to download if you are going to let's say you have something you want to download the document from any application 80% uh, of those documents are already in the PDF format you let's say you want to download your uh, insurance card or you want you see some coupons uh, or or it could be it could be any any single thing it could be your uh, your insurance declaration page or it could be uh, in any single documents that you want to download they don't want you to modify the content that's why they are giving you as a PDF format so that you can just read them okay so um, after going through what the PDF is uh, let's see let's talk about why is it important if you talk into a uh, testing field testing area okay if you if you work in some application some company that has an application that uh, works with the some form of PDF documents then there may be some instances that you know uh, you might want to validate the content of the PDF and there, there are very uh, like a maximum chances that these contents are not automated because, because with the thoughts or ideas of uh, that it is not able to automate, but that is gone. Now you'd be able to read the content of PDF documents also even if with the help of Java in the Selenium. Okay, so let's go with that practice today. Um, so here as you have seen all of my videos if you do um, I talk briefly about how my uh, this testing framework is so today I'm just going to focus on how do I write that uh, util uh, class that reads the PDF content for me so in order to do that first of all I'm going to show you a couple of the sample documents these are the PDF files if you see these are the Acrobat reader with the logo itself so different let me open this one up for you so this is a discount coupon so this is just called uh, discount coupon this is in the PDF format uh, if I open the another one which is a sample PDF basically this is just a PDF as a letter uh, that has all these things only it's, it's just a PDF sampler from PDF Adobe okay I want to read the content of them okay so let's do that let's write that over um, so first of all, I'm going to write the class inside the main because this is something that I don't want to write in each and every class as I need uh, All I need to validate some things, but I want to just write it into the central location Where I don't have to you know where I can simply call that method and and use that over um, So for that inside the utils, I'm going oh, not the utils. I'll put that inside the file reader So let me put that here uh, the class I'm calling this as a PDF read uh, PDF PDF read is all I need to write PDF read is my class name so um, what do I do next here in inside the PDF read this is basically just simple class let me just run this out locally so that uh, you know you can use it whatever you want uh, so I'm going to run this as a Java application. So I'm going to write the main method here Okay, public static void main. That's my class. Let's make that PDF equals Okay, and then I need to call that uh, let's write the method PDF read dot read 
from PDF. That's my method. Okay. That method I want to pass the file path. So I'm going to write here some static. Okay. So that one, this is outside, right at the outer layer of the project. So this I can simply call at the current level, so which is at that current directory slash. I can simply call that um, uh, file. So that is the path. So a sample, sample PDF dot PDF. You have to write that extension. Okay, it is it's a case sensitive, so you have to write that over. So this is basically the static string file path it's a string as a static because i want to use that inside the static method static method will only take static variables okay i know i i believe you know that um this is going to throw me the exception so i'm going to throw the exception here so let me write this method here now public void string path for PDF and it's going to throw me exception okay so up until here I have one definition where I'm just giving the path where this file is at I'm going to read this file um, after that I have created one main method main method all it does is it's it's an object I'm instantiating this class creating object of this class and then because this is the non-static non-static method I'm just going to create instantiate this capture the object object dot method name I'm passing one string which is a file path file path is the data I'm passing okay it's very simple um, so up until here we haven't done anything here so let's go with reading part Every time you want to read something from the file, you can you, you will have to use file input stream. So which is like file. Um, let's first give the file equals new file. Okay. File path for PDF. Okay. So what I'm doing here is inside this is coming from IO. So whatever path I'm giving here that path i'm creating a file okay it is creating a new object of that file path so it's it's inside this path it is creating me the new file um after that i'm going to read that as an input stream so i need to write file just like you did that in the excel reader okay nothing different file input stream is always used um, so don't uh, get too much confused on this so fis equals So here this is a file input string so I'm getting this file inside this okay just like you did the Excel file okay so we haven't done anything new here next thing what you do is PD PD document okay this is the library you want to use in order to read the PDF content so document equals no okay so you want to read that content let's import that importing that is coming from PD model PD document okay now I need to throw this inside the try catch try okay catch okay print is that dress so inside the try block what do I want to do here is first line I need to write this document this document okay which means document equals pd doc pd document dot load and then inside this I'm going to put fis that's the input stream I need to put pd doc pd document dot load I need to load this fis okay now this document is now already loaded with this file okay and the next line what i want to do here is i say string output equals new pdf text 
text stripper dot get text and then you pass that document that's the only two line you need to really remember okay this is the only two line you need to remember now this already has a one single form of the string its the entire file is one string right now it is a string you want to run this out let's print this okay so let's just see this so right now let me run this over run as java application i'm running that inside this class <laughs> so right now it has nothing to do with the browser but just imagine when you download anything or when you want to read any content in the uh, pdf content that's all you can do see here if you come here and this has entire the list okay entire thing that is part of that pdf file if you want to open that up now you can see everything is there everything that is as a text it is there it is not going to show you the form fonts or different format but it is just going to read as a simple text okay so here now how you can add the validations here which is another big piece so this one basically is just a uh, you know a uh, single kind of you know nothing really you can really compare values here i picked the another file here also discount coupon there may be something that you want to validate okay there may be maybe you are working on this applications and there you might want to validate these things or you might want to validate basically the terms and conditions okay let's say you want to validate something which is called terms and condition and inside this let's do let's work on that okay let's use that file instead of now discount coupon let's change that okay now i'm loading that file instead of this file okay so nothing else nothing different and i need to give that semi now let's run this again now you're gonna see something from sally okay so now this is coming from sally so now you have a terms and condition so if i want to read something or validate the content here i can just get this let me split this out now i have this entire as a one single string okay there's even this are have multiple lines this is only one single string so in order to get that i need to do this i need to create an array of this so the string i need to break this output into multiple conditions so a string array equals output dot split okay now you give what you want to split with so i want to break this from here okay and then what happens is array 0 is entire this portion and array 1 is entire this portion or maybe i want to break after the coupon code okay something like that right um let's write that terms and conditions i want to break that terms and conditions and i want to let's say validate that terms and conditions this content so what I do, okay, one, okay. So if I want to validate this, I'm just going to copy this whole thing, okay. Now, uh, this won't have a shirt because it's not the J or anything, but let's just uh, find this out first. So let's just run this. So now it is going to run only after the terms and conditions. So because I'm asking the first index of whatever it is splits to. Okay, that's what it is doing here. Uh, it is still printing because it is coming from this portion that is printing me the whole thing. Let me comment that also and run this so it is going to only print me the terms and conditions okay 
so that's how you would be basically comparing if you want to do anything and then if you are running this as a JUnit test you can add the asserts there assert statement saying that okay there's offer valid through there's certain text is contained inside this okay you could say assert dot assert true this the this contains certain things that you want to compare to okay so that's all you can do um, so it is uh, pretty simple and straightforward so let me add that here format and let me go through quick recap first of all i define i created one class it is basically it's a simple java class nothing different it is not anything to j unit but you can apply this put this inside the util and then use that as a common so that you can call this everywhere so you define the file path file path you could hard code here directly or you i prefer writing that separate usually these things file path comes outside of properties file right so like this this properties file will contain those file paths so you'll be reading there so i have file path i'm reading there um i have a main method this is just to test here otherwise i would be just writing this method and then uh, I'll be calling this method from elsewhere okay I'm just going to show you running inside here that's why so I created this method here it is requiring one string argument which is a file path I need to pass the path entire path for that file uh, it's going to throw the exception because it's a file uh, input strings and then I have created a new file object for that path whatever I passed and that file I'm going to pass inside the file input stream up until here nothing is different as you will be reading from excel or pdf or properties it's the same thing now next thing is you have a pdf document now this is just null i'm putting inside the try catch block if it if it is catch this is document is null okay and then document all i'm doing here is this document is uh, pdf doc, pd document is basically the library you're using pd document uh, dot load is going to load me that file that file is the pdf document so this has to be pdf document in order to load just like you would load properties file just like that okay uh, load is the static method and then you have output string output is new pdf text stripper dot get text okay and then you give that document here then you it's everything is yours now now output is going to read entire content for you and let's say you want to add uh, validate only certain things then you can split like that make it an array <coughs> and define that whatever you want to do that with okay um so i think this has been pretty clear and helpful and um, uh, i believe now you can uh, use this uh, this um, uh, this is skill to get your project going with a PDF document type of validations also and I hope this has been very helpful for you thank you very much for watching this video and please continue to watch and subscribe like my videos thank you very much